Welcome everybody to Young Composer X to Muse, One Stand Down. This is the first Muse single in about three years, over three years actually. I'm, I'm a pretty big Muse fan, so this is quite the deal for me. I, I'm not doing super good right now, so I was kind of struggling to get into the energy of, of making a video. Uh, but I want to do it, and I've heard that snippets were out. I haven't checked those out, I just know there's fast uh, double kicks in this song. That's all I know. Let's go. Take on me. I never believed that I would concede and let someone trample on me. You struck me alone. Six, I thought I was strong, but you were just backsliding me. I've opened my eyes and counted the lies, and now it is clear what to me. Gaslighting. I just a user and an abuse okay. leaving vicariously. I never believed. That I would concede and get myself blown asunder You strung me along, I thought I was strong But now you have pushed me under I've opened my eyes and counted the lies And now it is clearer to me You are just a user and an abuser And I refuse to take it Woo! Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is really cool. So people love the the word uh, gaslighting these days. I do. I, I use it uh, a lot more than I usually did before too these days. Uh, nice to see Muses at that too. Cool chromatic build up, you know, after after that whole uh, intro thing, I guess, where you have those little fiddly uh, synths and then this huge bass sound that you don't quite know what it is. I don't know if it's like Muse always messes uh, messes with synthesizers to make it sound like bass and whatever, and you know the madness thing. I don't know. They they have a lot of creative ways to shape uh, the low end of their songs. I love what happens after that though. I, I love the beginning, you know, the introduction of this weird uh, six eight rhythm, but then just the uh, the chorus that builds into this classic Muse falsetto thing where Matt sings like the. Again, not a theory expert, but you know, the main note of the scale, like the... Sorry. And uh, yeah, just classic, classic Muse feeling in a uh, Muse that's been for a few years now, like way more uh, modern with, with the sounds they use this as a really organic rock band. Uh, but they they are classic in the harmony they use and they are modern in, in the sounds they use on this. Let's go game. Go. That's huge. That's ridiculous space. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so this is the same thing again. This is the same formula. Uh, maybe a couple new things in the arrangement. Muse arrangements are, I don't know. Uh, guys, tell me in the comments, does Matt Bellamy have like a, an arranging degree or something? Because I read up on him and I couldn't find that he went to school for arrangement or anything like that. But when I, when I was in music school, I think one of my teachers said something about him like having an, an arrangement degree an arranging degree i don't know how you you speak english but yes he's very good with arrangements and whoever maybe helps produce 
if that's a thing, is also a very tasteful. So I, l I like the little uh, guitar jabs in the, well, I put my headphones on uh, backwards, so that would be less speaker and cool little guitar there, uh, cool little, you know, synth jabs and all that stuff. I think now we're gonna have something really different. I haven't heard a lot of double kick, so maybe double kick is actually now. And um, let's finish the song. Let's see what happens now. I say big bridge, big chorus, sort of something like that, maybe an instrumental. Oh, okay. Ah, cool. Cool. Drums, dude. Yeah. I often wonder what screams actually are when I listen to screaming, like Muse does a lot of fa uh, you know, fake screaming where Matt is like whispering or just being really quiet, something like, uh, you know, something like that and put a, a truckload of distortion on it and it sounds like he's like going insane, right? And, and that's really cool. I've talked about this before when we did this uh, live version of Stockholm Syndrome. I think that's a really smart way to do things. That that's how I would approach screaming if I had to, like, record a song tomorrow and there had to be screaming on it. Right? I can't scream. I would just like do that. But I wonder at the end here, it really does sound like real screaming with like processing on it, reverb and all that. Um, and Matt definitely can scream. So you know, when I hear him scream, I always wonder which one he's doing. Um, yeah, so I guess I, I was kind of right there, uh, but I was also a little spoiled that I heard like two, three seconds before of that instrumental, before uh, taking a bet that it was going to be an instrumental. This sounds like it would be fun to see live, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to actually see that live, because I'm, I'm going to hopefully see Muse live this year. Uh, so that makes me feel better. And... Um, yeah, I mean, overall, this is not a, a, a huge leap uh, for Muse. This doesn't surprise me hugely. Uh, this, these are sounds that they've explored before. These are things they've done, but they, you know, they still do it well. Um, they do it maybe now in a, in a bit of a different way. I don't hear quite as much uh, risk taking in, uh, in Matt's singing on this track. It's, uh, it's quite a bit lower than what he actually usually does when, when, it's, uh, when it comes to like super high falsetto. Like I'm thinking about the handler. He does like exactly the same thing in the chorus, right? Goes, uh, goes to that uh, Phrygian sounding note and then does the main note of the scale. Yes, music, words, I'm very good. And uh, but this sounds like a B to me, and uh, the the handler is a is a D, so uh, down uh, three semitones there. Uh, good for him, you know. Uh, why why bother? Because you, I mean, if this is drop B, this is a hell of a lot heavier, I guess, than drop D too. So that's fine, you know. Tune the guitar down and, and don't strain your voice as much. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I want to see how they do the screams live, and I want to see how they do the huge, synthy, low-end, uh, distorted stuff that, that kind of took me by surprise, because, you know, mostly this doesn't surprise me as a, as a Muse song, but that specific sound is kind of like, uh, in, on the harder end of what they usually do with, um, with, uh, virtual sounds, I guess. So yeah, I quite enjoyed this track and uh, I want to see the, the rest of the album. Does it go 
in that direction of this uh, synthy thing that's really heavy and sort of like different from uh, their last album or do they go in the direction of whatever the little fiddly synths at the beginning of the track which is more yeah what they did on, on the last album i don't know guys i don't know anything just tell me below did matt bellamy go to music school does he know how to do arrangements because of a specific reason or just because he heard a lot of music and worked with producers and all that and uh i'll see you next time goodbye have a good day <laughs>